As you all probably know, Roblox is a free-to-play platform where users can play and create their own games. For the most part, these games on the front page are usually unoriginal, uninspired, or straight-up copies of each other. Despite that, there are a few gems in the mix. The specific game I'm going to talk about is Doors, a game inspired by Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion, and another Roblox game, Rooms. Now, what makes this game so good? It's just a funny little Roblox game. It can't be that good, right? Doors is a game about going through a hundred randomly generated rooms within a hotel. These rooms can have various entities that have their own abilities and counterplay. There's Rush, who randomly spawns after opening a door and will speed through the rooms, breaking all of the lights. To avoid him, you have to hide in a locker before he passes through your room. Hide is an entity that resides inside lockers and will push out players who hide too long inside them. This means that you must time hiding from Rush correctly or else you'll be pushed out as Rush passes through your room, killing you. Screech stalks the players in dark rooms, where hints of their presence are heard through subtle sounds, followed by a pfft before they attack you. Seek who in a scripted chase sequence will chase you through six rooms, killing any players it catches up to, along with some obstacles that you have to avoid. And the figure, who appears on doors 50 and 100 in scripted sequences. On door 50, you have to find these colored books and a note which will give you a code to unlock the next door. Those are just a few entities you'll face while traversing through the doors. With that, you do have some items to help you counter them, such as the flashlight, crucifix, and vitamins. These entities and their mechanics are simple and easy to learn. They provide an enjoyable and unique gameplay. While being simple, they provide a diverse experience that is incredibly enjoyable and even more so with friends. You'll have to master these mechanics if you want to make it to door 100. Or you could just use your friends as shields and close your eyes when something scary happens like I did. I didn't even know about the behaviors of a few entities until I looked at the wiki. Like when Screech spawns in, the player's screen will shake slightly, which is really hard to tell when moving because of the head bob, but when you stand still it's pretty easy. As I mentioned before, the rooms are randomly generated, so each run will be different. Sometimes you'll encounter entities earlier than expected, or later, or maybe even not at all. There are entities that I personally haven't even encountered yet, but my friends unfortunately have. Be glad he didn't take it. This is 70%. Oh, okay. Better than nothing. I'll take it. I wonder, can you check my locker one minute? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Don't mind if I just fucking clip that. <laughs> there was a lady in there. The RNG of the rooms and mixed signals of the entities give the game a tense, incredibly replayable gameplay loop because every single time you play, it will be a slightly different experience. Every playthrough will be different, and even if you are terrified of jump scares and loud sounds, it'll keep you hooked. This isn't even mentioning the special locations. With that said, I'm going to move on to the horror aspect of it. The game uses jump scares, unsettling imagery, and atmosphere. Now I know everyone just loves cheap jump scares. <laughs> the ones where you're walking down a normal hallway and suddenly a disturbing image flashes on your screen and a loud sound shatters your eardrums. It is startling and scary at the moment, but if that's the peak of the horror in your video game, then it's just not worth playing in my opinion. Now I'm not saying all jump scares are bad. FNAF, Outlast, and Resident Evil have them. Hell. Even Batman Arkham Knight has a man-bat jump scare, for some reason. To have a good jump scare, you have to build up to them the right way, and I think Doors mostly does that. They are sudden, and startle me, but I don't feel cheated or bored after it. Like with Rush! Right before they appear, you can see the lights flicker and the sound fades in as the entity speeds towards your room. Hearing it get closer and closer creates this dreadful, anxiety-inducing feeling, and when you jump into the locker to avoid it, you still don't feel safe. Every door you open leaves you anxiously waiting for an audio or visual cue, and with every door, the entities that hunt you get faster, reducing the amount of time you have to react, and if they get you, the jump scare appears, and you're dead. 
Now, the atmosphere of the hotel itself. The hotel is filled with an unsettling ambience. The lights constantly buzz at you, the rooms themselves have this constant droning sound. At random, the doors and walls will make sounds of something moving furniture, knocking, or even doing that sound Screech makes before attacking you. These sounds really add to the unnerving effect that the aesthetic within the hotel is trying to achieve, and I think it does a fairly good job at it. With all that said, Doors is a really good game. A really good horror game. I do have a few issues with it though. Remember what I said about cheap jump scares? Well, there is two. Timothy's and Jack. But these aren't really that bad. They're moderate at best. Whereas the other jump scares have something that leads up to them, Timothy and Jack is just open drawer slash locker and boom, jump scare, yay. A few of the designs feel a bit samey with the smiles and open mouths, but overall I still like the designs a lot. With all of that said, I think Doors is a fantastic Roblox horror game, and honestly, if it wasn't for the goofy Roblox avatars, it wouldn't even feel like a Roblox game. Doors is a pretty unique experience that isn't trying to be the next Piggy, Rainbow Friends, or... This game is different from other Roblox games because it really feels like it's a passion project and not just a soulless cash grab. It truly is a breath of fresh air. The visuals, audio, and gameplay really show off what these devs are capable of, and I wouldn't be surprised if the devs made their own standalone game in the future away from Roblox. I could go on, but at this point I would be repeating myself or spoil more of the game if you haven't already played it. And if you haven't, then I definitely recommend it. This game is truly just a good game. If you've made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and support my content. And if you want to support further, I would suggest watching some of my other videos. More content like this will be out soon. This is just, this video specifically is a stepping stone into this type of content that I would like to do more of in the future. So I appreciate you coming to watch this.